Okay, gentlemen, let's get started. Okay, we have a circuit which you should have built by now. If you haven't, you can just watch this video and then you can get to the screen where you can check to see that your design is correct. Okay, um, in our prototype here, what we're doing is we're making sure we've got three lights for the cars, two lights for the pedestrians. Um, you have a five volt that's connected there. Please make sure it's diagonal to where your um, your digital input pin is going to be on number two. And then this is a 10K resistor. Those are all 1K resistors. Okay, so, and there's only one ground and all your LEDs are connected there. So first things first, we should test our circuit to make sure our LEDs are working. So we'll just go and uh, duplicate that and drag one more. So it's 10, 9, eight, seven, and six. So we're just basically testing our circuit to see that it all lights up correctly. Okay, that's perfect. Next, we need to test our button to see that's working. To do that, we need a variable. So we create a variable called PB in case you're not sure. Let's see, this is how you do it, create it. Okay, PB for push button. We don't want to use the full word. If we do, we can't have spaces. So it can be like that or it can be like that, but make sure there are no spaces in between. Okay, so rather to make sure, just make it that, and we won't have an issue. So set PB, what are we setting it to? We need to get the value from pin two, which is an input, because we're reading it from digital pin number two. Okay, so now that I've got that perfect, all that we want to do is to visualize and see what are our, what's our data there that's coming into our variable. So instead of saying hello world, we're just simply dropping our there. So now we can go ahead and start the simulation. And if we have a look at our serial monitor, we should be getting zero because there's no one pressing the button. When we press the button, we should be getting one. Let go, press, let go. So you know that's definitely working. So. Based on that, we can now go ahead and start making some decisions. So we can start this by saying maths and there, and then your variables are if the push button is equal to zero, that means no one is pushing the button. What do you want to happen when no one's pushing the button? We want the cars to be going and the people to be staying still. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be two seconds pins that we'll need to start off with and we want cars to go so that's going to be pin number eight okay green for the cars and we want pin number seven to be high for the people so the cars are going the people are there that's how the button will stay i mean that's how the lights will stay on until someone pushes the button when someone pushes a button which means that it's not equal to zero anymore so this code here will kick off that's when you want the traffic light to kick in, okay? And this is how we do that very simply. First things first, we now need to slow the cars down. So we're gonna set our green LED, which is pin number eight, to low. And immediately we're gonna go ahead and set pin number nine, which is the yellow, to high. Okay, so we've switched that off. We're turning on that there. We wanna wait three seconds so that there is a delay then we're going to switch off our pin number nine okay and we set that to low and immediately after setting that to low we want to go ahead and set our pin number 10 which is your red led for the cars to high so at this stage we've switched that off we've got that there we now got two red leds both for the pedestrian and the cars what we want to do now is we're going to wait another three seconds so that everything is red. We've made sure everybody stop. Perfect. Now we want to go ahead and change the color of the pedestrian red LED to off, which is seven to low. And then we want to go ahead and set our green LED on for the people to cross the road, which is on six to high. So at this point in time, our green light's on, red light's there. We want to give the pedestrians about 10 seconds to cross the road. And after 10 seconds, 
we want to be able to now start to flash it, the green light three times. Okay, so to do that, we're going to do an action three times. So we want to go and choose a repeat block and say, right, at this point in time, the first thing is we are wanting to switch the green light off. So set the green light to low, which is six to low. And then we're going to wait one second. Okay. Just duplicate that and put that in that block. So you've got four blocks in your repeat, except that this one's going to be high. So it's going to go off, on, off, on, off, on, and that's three times. So the last thing though that it's on, that's why we need to now go ahead and switch that off. But we don't want it in the repeat. We want it immediately after the repeat turn our six to low okay which means that right now we have turned off that and we have got as soon as we've turned the that to low we should go ahead and set our red light on for the pedestrians on high so at this point we've got that high that's low so we should have two red lights on and we want to put in one three second delay and after that three second delay we want to turn off the red lights for the cars so we'll say after three seconds turn off the pin number 10 to low and immediately we stop it there because it will now kick in and go and continue with the loop so let's just test it out to see if this works we start our simulation, and as we predicted, cars can go, people have to wait. Nothing's going to happen until we press the button. As soon as we press the button, okay, slows the cars down, stops the cars, everybody stopped. Pedestrians can now cross the road, and it's going to flash three times, and then it'll stop there, and it's back to where it started. So the only thing that I left out here, actually I didn't, I think that's purely a little glitch in there. That's correct because it should wait 10 seconds before it flashes. So my guess is that this time it should do it correctly. Orange, red, waiting. People can cross the road. There it is, 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it's gonna now flash three times once, twice, three times, and then go. Perfect. And now cars can go. All right. Uh, one other thing we could kind of fix, if you saw there was an extra green at that end, because it does come on high again before it goes off. So even though this year is set to high already, if we change the sequence around, then we actually, even though we're switching that on again and waiting one second, switching off again, the last thing is that'll go off, which means that we won't need this one. So we can delete that block. Let's just give this a try and see if that makes any difference. So here you go. Nothing's happening until we press the button. When we do yellow for the cars, red for the cars, everybody waits. Green for the people, wait 10 seconds. Okay, after 10 seconds, it's gonna go and start flashing once, twice, three times, and then go straight away to red, wait three seconds, cars can now go. Okay, and that's the cycle. Thank you.